opening episode two are Brian and Darren Jordan, father and son team creating graphic novels and comic books through their company, Eclectica Press. There have been times in my life when I've literally put my head against a book and said, I wish I was in there and not out here. Um, it, it, but, but by the same token, I don't, think, I don't think you can strictly... A lot of people say fantasy is escapism, and I disagree with that. I think, um, to, my, to my way of thinking, stories are probably the most important thing in this world, and stories to me are often more real than the real world. And I disagree very strongly with, you know, people say, get your head out of the clouds, because I think that what it is to be human um, is so so strongly tied up with our dreams and our thoughts and what we imagine that and we and too often we, we, we discard all of that and we push mm -hmm. it aside and we say it's not important the real world is much more important I think there's something quite um, powerful um, psychologically powerful about um, superheroes for one example and how they operate I think they're very much um, representations of different parts of our psyche is one way I like to look at them and you know, I think that, that they really do speak on some level to people. I like the idea of Joseph Campbell, uh, of, of the idea that the hero is someone who comes from, from within a society, journeys out beyond the bounds of that society and discovers some new information or knowledge and then has to come back and translate it and teach those um, from, from his home um, to make that a better place. And I mean, that kind of basic sort of journey and the mythological journey of the hero is something that um, that we certainly work with in, in both Dogs and Strangor. The term graphic novel, I, I, I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe it was first uh, used by Will Eisner, who's very much looked upon as sort of the father of, of, uh, of graphic novels in, in the Western world. It's, it's, it's used in a lot of different ways now, isn't it? I mean, it's sort of, it is a marketing thing uh, to a certain extent. I mean, you were talking before about the legitimization of yeah, the comic certainly book. certainly if, if I said I was a comic book artist, um, it's not, it's frowned upon by uh, the high art scene, certainly. Yeah. Illustration's always been a joy for me, and, and I do a lot of drawing, and Darren's drawn me into this web of um, his passion for joining the word with the image. And, and that's, um, that's become such a special thing between the both of us. Because a lot of comic books and what have you got sort of computer colouring now and, uh, and things like that, and you can put in computer effects. I mean, mm. your work is very much all hand-drawn pen and ink. So it's sort of, it's a, tr it's a very traditional and that linking, and the word, the linking of the word, the written word, rather than typed in as an yeah. afterthought, it actually becomes part of the drawing itself, doesn't mm. it? And that's, that's a break away from traditional comic book presentation. Mm. That I was talking before about collaboration. Um, comic books, comic books are very compartmentalized in some ways because you have um, the pencil artist, you have the inker, you have the letterer, you have the colorist, you have the person that does the cover art, you have the writer. They're all separate people that do one part of a job, which, which basically comes from having to get something out on a monthly basis in a serialized story. Mm. Um, and I think there's an absolute joy in collaboration in that extent. But it is something that with, with, with the work that we've collaborated on together, it was a case of rather than sort of typing the words in, of actually making them part of the artwork. So it really is a fusion of, of art and image. From reading books to comic books to, to movies to whatever entertainment and stories are what keep people alive. But they are touchstones to themselves, aren't they? They, they, are. they, they, they do. They're, they're a window into what who and what we are. Stories can change the world and imagination can change the world and that stories aren't necessarily as, as, as safe and trapped in the book as we might think they often are.